What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am George with Baggers and Brews and today we're gonna talk about some Harley headlines that uh, I got questions. Yeah, I'm standing here uh, in the garage next to the Rogue Glide, which uh, I have probably not been out on in about two weeks because we've been away on vacation. And um, also have a garage full of parts and stuff to uh, install on both uh, Burt's 2016 Rogue Glide and my 2021. But not what I'm here to talk about today. Harley has been in the headlines. And uh, for the most part, not in a good way. There was a positive headline that came out that said Harley is officially the number one motorcycle seller in India, which um, very cool. Kudos. Um, Indians love their sportsters and the Knights are supposed to make a big splash there. So to be released soon. But the rest of the headlines stateside have not been good, man. No bueno. First, they were shut down for... I guess like two or three weeks for production for what was a story that never seemed right. Um, it was for a component or a production issue, and I feel like the real story never really came out. Following up with that, they are looking at an inevitable labor strike um, to get rid of their their tier um, their tier employment um, agreements, which. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to avoid, but we'll see. And finally, the FTC hit them yesterday, and this was the big one, that said they have enforced illegal warranty language upon their customers. So what does this mean? Well, the FTC, as you may or may not know, the Federal Trade Commission is a governing body that is set to protect the consumer. It was created by New Jersey's very own Woodrow Wilson. and. It's kind of ironic because here's a governing body that's stepping in to say, no, Harley, you're wrong and your language is not legal when another governing body, the EPA, actually created the situation that has us in the warranty environment that we're currently in. As you may or may not know, Harley got hit hard with emissions fines. So yeah, so that led to Harley's, you know, a lot of restrictions with Harley exhaust. Basically, if you're going with Harley parts, you're always going to have to have a cat on the bike. Harley tuners are, you know, very EPA friendly, which means they are not very performance minded. So that was a few years ago. That led to this, you can only have Harley parts or Harley mechanics, you know, or certified Harley people work on your bike. Otherwise, your warranty is void. And there was a lot of in and outs of that warranty. I know John Maxwell a few years ago when we first like went to the M8s and all this stuff and everything changed. He did a very good video at that time. He was working um, for Harley dealer himself actually. So uh, what, what is, what, I don't know, what, what does that mean? So basically the, FD, the FTC said that they can't allow that. So through the um, freedom to repair, they can't void your warranty for having third-party parts on the bike. They can't void your warranty for having a considered a third-party or local shop work on your bike. They can't do that anymore. They're supposed to remove signs and language from their dealerships that state this. Um, and it's an interesting thing because now, you know, these people who may have changed an exhaust or may have not had a warranty honored because their bike had sumped like where do all of these people sit and we know there's quite a few of them you know especially with the early m8s right so big big question that's that's big question number one really um number two when you go to harley's website now you can see you see this little page right here which basically says um your warranty is not covered by bad installation or improper care or what have you. So if you install uh, an aftermarket fuel controller or anything on your bike and that fuel controller causes your bike to you know, malfunction, go south, need a repair, you're 
probably not going to be covered under warranty, right? So if you do something else to your bike that you didn't install correctly, you know, you are probably not going to be covered under warranty. Um, I mean, most definitely. But here's the question. Say you do a stage one on your bike, right? Stage one's good. Everything functions well. And then your bike sumps. It looks like they're going to have to cover that warranty. And as you may or may not know, Harley dealers are independently owned. So it's definitely, it's going to be a battle. Uh, I think for the consumer, I don't think this is the end of the line, you know, necessarily with this topic. Um, it is also open to public discussion for the next couple of weeks until the FTC makes their final decision and lays down the final hammer on what their verdict will be. But I just wanted to get it out there. Um, let me know in the comments if Harley has voided your warranty because I got to tell you, I, I'd, I'd love to know. And, um, and I'm sure there's got to be, you know, there's got to be somebody out there. And uh, listen, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It's, uh, it means a lot to the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. And we'll see you in the next one.